Hi, you're watching Noipi Alliance. And don't forget to subscribe to Noipi Alliance. Chot Reyes at Ab Baldwin bili ba kay Coach Yang Giao? Bago natin simula ng video ay bigyan muna natin ng shoutout si Rico Mercurio na palaging nanonood. Si Chot Reyes at Tag Baldwin ay nabigyan ng pagkakataon para manood ng live sa closed door game sa Smart Araneta Coliseum, sabi ni Baldwin, you know. These are some of the best players of our country. They deserve the opportunity to represent the team and represent the country. Yang Giao got them and he's putting them together and developing chemistry. He's working hard with the time that he's got and it's never an exact science when you are a national coach to select the team. Dagdag pa niya. Nakita nila Chot Reyes at Ab Baldwin kung paano tinambak ka ng kataraang Team Pilipinas sa first half ng laro. Pero pareho silang nagulat nung biglang bumawi ang Team Pilipinas sa third quarter at nagawang pigilan ng Team Pilipinas ang mga opensa ni Qatar. Great team effort in the second half. With Japheth Aguilar dominating their bigs. But I thought Scotty Thompson gave us a lot of extra possessions and Coach Yen Ji's the point guard combo to start the third quarter with a lot of pressure defense was the case. Sabi ni Chot Reyes, they came out in the second half, set the tempo of the game, put pressure on Qatar, and it always should have been that way. And when they did that, you saw the turnaround of the score pretty quick. Dagdag naman ni Coach Baldwin. Pareho silang nandun sa laban para suportahan si Coach Yang at ang Team Pilipinas. I just think it's not our job to question them but support them and being is in that role. It can be a thankless job at times and I think it's our job to support them. He's chosen his group of guys and we should all get behind them. And don't forget to subscribe to Noiki Alliance. Uh, well, first half was just... Uh really bad shooting percentage especially from three points i think we were six percent and to think these are the best shooters in the country you know that's really an aberration it's like a hangover from our iran game you know, na three-point shooting but i told them at halftime to just take the normal shots that they, they were taking don't mind the percentages uh just be uh, uh, focused no? on running the sets, uh, executing the, the game plan. And I think the big difference was they really wanted to win. These guys really wanted to win. And uh, they showed that by the kind of defense that they played. It's really a commitment to, to defend. They knew that uh, Hindi nila din ipensahan yun, kulang yung effort nila. Pangyayari yung 54% na 3-point shooting ng kalaban. As big as Qatar was, I felt that uh, what really uh, gave them uh, a lead no, in the first half was their 3-point shooting. So it was not really their size. It was really uh, incredible percentage from the 3-point uh, line. And we scouted them. We know some of them can shoot the three, but we did not expect that they will shoot 54%. No. So when that was happening, pinakabatay uh, lahat talaga mga player na to. Kahit ako sabi ko ano nangyayari. But sabi ko lang, let's just be patient. Let's just be patient. Stick to the game plan. It is almost uh, impossible if you play good defense to sustain 54% three-point shooting percentage. So we just waited for them to miss those shots and use our speed advantage. And we just uh, kept running the whole game and uh, we just kept the people inside fresh and uh, used a lot of our uh, uh, players. Uh, we rotated all 12 players and kept everybody fresh so that they can put pressure on defense.